DC City Council member Zachary Parker represents Ward 5, the neighborhood where the shooting occurred. Parker spoke with us about the killing. In your opinion, was the shooting at all in any way justified? We don't know all of the details, but I find it hard to uh, ration how a 13-year-old would be killed dead. Um, I don't condone violence of any kind. Um, and it has been said many times, if a neighbor felt as though there was a crime in progress, uh, the right thing to do would have been to call 911. Mm -hmm. uh, the Metro Police have not yet made an arrest. Um, any idea why? We have no idea, and that is part of the problem. I have stood with War 5 neighbors and colleagues in calling on MPD and the U.S. Attorney's Office to release more information in this case, to share more information with Karan's family, uh, but also to apprehend the individual that took Karan's life. Again, it is hard to square how someone, whether or not it's in self-defense or whatever the justification is, can shoot and kill someone, let alone a 13-year-old, and go back into their home uh, to have a good night's rest. Um, and so there is something different about this case, and we are pushing and calling to hold the MPD and U.S. Attorney's Office accountable. Uh, the shooter has been described as an African-American male resident of, uh, of Ward 5. And uh, Mayor Bowser described him as a government employee. Um, What's the possibility between those two facts and the lack of an arrest? Many are speculating as though uh, there's more at hand here as to why this individual wasn't uh, apprehended. I don't want to speculate uh, and, and give details or guess why certain decisions were made, uh, but it does beg the question of, again, how someone can take a 13-year-old's life and not be arrested. One thing I would say uh, it was important information uh, shared that this was an uh, African-American uh, as well as someone that works for district government. Uh, what has not been shared, though, is who this individual is. And so put yourselves um, in the shoes of neighbors that live in that community. They are living in fear, not knowing which one of their neighbors is actually responsible for killing a 13-year-old. Also put your shoes uh, yourself in the shoes of the family who is still wanting answers of, about their loved one and what actually happened on that night. Um, and so I think it's a dangerous precedent to set where we are leaving uh, matters of justice and transparency up to a grand jury. Um, and while I have faith in our justice system, I think there were many lessons learned in this case. Mm -hmm.